PDS. Your, the famous informal newspaper has had your name on its front and pictures on its front pages connecting you the PDS transaction. I, I never knew your role. I didn't know you were a minister at the time. I, I don't know, but what did you do with respect to that transaction so you could clear the minds of Ghanaians and all of us who've been seeing your name and your photograph on the front pages any time this issue, this issue arises? <coughs> Thank you. Mr. Chairman, uh, to directly answer your question, I did not play any role whatsoever in PDS. I'm not a director of PDS, neither am I a shareholder of PDS. And so uh, it's interesting, uh, the kinds of associations that have been made. However, Mr. Chairman, in 2014, I was engaged to incorporate a company for a client of mine who asked me to be director secretary, uh, which is pretty much usual with law practitioners. It turned out that that company, which is called TG Energy, went into some unincorporated joint ventureship, which is usually referred to as some consortium that then bid for the ECG PSP process and ultimately when they won, incorporated a company called PDS that then contracted with the government of Ghana. Mr. Chairman, the corporate law principles are quite clear that a company is separate and distinct from its shareholders and that indeed PDS when it was incorporated, has his own directors and secretary. I took the pains to actually do an official search uh, before appearing before your committee, and it's clear who the directors of PDS are and who the shareholders of PDS are. Nowhere is Andrew Ejapa Mesa found in those, these two categories. Uh, but like I said, uh, it was uh, interesting that because the documentation for the transaction had my name as director in one of the shareholders of PDS, then it became easy to associate me with PDS and create an impression as if to say I was connected some way, somehow to PDS. But the truth of the matter is that I'm not a director of PDS, nor am I a shareholder of PDS. Indeed, I'm not even a shareholder of the company that I incorporated for the client. So question of interest in itself, Mr. Chairman, does not arise, has never arisen. Uh, uh, because interest, as opposed to fiduciary, which is what directors are, uh, it's quite clear. Interests are transferable. They are either real or incorporeal. They are either tangible or intangible. These are property. It's a legal construct that is transferable. My role as a director in TG Energy cannot under any circumstances be described as transferable to until me having an interest in that transaction. Thank you. <laughs>